Louder though, mate. Louder. I'm sorry, we'll uh Sorry, I've got to keep the crafting to make sure that this goes as possible. <laughs> hey there, I am Josh Randall, and uh, yeah, sorry, this is my first, uh, this is my first stand-up thing. I've never done it before. Stage, really. You know, I mean, I always have trouble thinking of things for these. I never really give it my full attention because uh, it, see, it's like when I was a kid. You know, like when I was about like eight or nine. You know, it was like bad. I was a bit of a talk now. Uh, I used to play rugby because of my, uh, my dad. He was a rugby coach and he was like, son, man, you have to play rugby. Right? And I was like, oh, right, I'd rather play football, but you know, what, what am I going to do? So, uh, yeah. so I'm, I'm now on the pitch, if you can just like, imagine this. I'm now on the pitch. Like, I'm not giving it my full attention. People are like, it's touch rifle, of course, because I hate it. It's like, tag, tag. <laughs> you're, you're going down. So, so there I am, I'm just like, I want to pretend to be a velociraptor. <laughs> true, true, it's true. I normally just like stand, stand, actually. Yeah. 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 For some reason, my hand goes this, like claws. Then, I mean, for one, by the way, when I play rugby, I don't wear glasses. You'd be able to touch rugby. There's always a chance to come up in your face. So there I am. Okay. Like this, with my claws. Like, I don't know, I can clue what that means. I just have no idea what's going on. And yeah, that's kind of like. So just, yeah, just imagine that. I mean, you've just seen it, obviously. But just imagine me, like, like, I'm eight years old and then I'm doing that. But yeah, I mean. I think the reason why I thought I was a boss raptor is because I, I watched like, Jurassic Park from a very early age, like when I was five. I'm 12 like, so, yeah. I'm not allowed to really watch it because I'm five. But even half that age. So, yeah, there I am. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I was a boss raptor. I, mean, I hate animals. I've never really had much luck with them, to be honest. I've had all these like. You see, like, of course, when I was a kid, I used to have paper out, didn't I? And you know. <laughs> Throwing paintings into letterboxes. And I've been doing this for about a year, and there's always this one house whenever I went on there. Like this dog be always in the window whenever I come around, yapping his face off. And I was always, whenever I go up to the, I'd always drop the paper out, and stick it in the uh, letterbox, and he'd rip it out. He'd rip it out of my hand, like, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> so, so, but, you know, that'd be the end of it, you know, we both got each other separate ways. And, uh, I'll carry on with paper and get paid like ten pounds. <laughs> but then one day, it's towards, towards Christmas, and I'm just walking down the road, you know. And then I go, get up to the house, but the dog is gone. And I'm like, it's ain't too bad, it's ain't too bad. I walk up, put the paper in, and the door slightly, slightly moves the jar. And I hear it, and I hear the yapping. Dog shoots out the window, shoots out the door, jabs me on the leg, kick him against the fence. <laughs> and you know, like, the, the only comes out, you know, my leg's bleeding, you know. But apparently, you could stick a chopstick in it. There was no like muscle in there, stick a chopstick in my leg. <laughs> and she's like, Here you go, there's, there's 20 quid. And I was like, Is this the trousers that you just ripped? You're trying to pay, pay me off, you know. And she's like, It's the new trousers, I was like, Oh, that's very nice of you. <laughs> Sorry, I think the story wrong word. It's very anticlimactic. I got put, got put down at the end. <laughs> yeah, so that's just one of my many stories of like me not doing well with animals, really. You know, uh, there's one like, oh, I'm scared of monsters. I'm scared of a bitch, and I'm scared of the bitch, you know, running around like, oh, mum, mum, can you get rid of this moth? This is when I'm 19, and I'm still scared to death. <laughs> yeah, so there's things like that. And there's the worst thing happened with guinea pigs where my sister had a guinea pig for her. And one day, of course, it has to die. And my sister has some tears, so she can't obviously put it in the bin back. And it comes to me with my trusty blue spade to get rid of the bastard. So there I am, kind of shoving away at this guinea pig. It's as stiff as a cardboard guinea pig. 
I just thought it was a classic sense of it. I just I try and throw him in the back, but instead he decides to skid across the floor and halfway across the garden. My sister's my sister's at the window. She's like, oh no! <laughs> Of all the things, the skinny things going sliding across the floor. There I am, just, just like the floor, trying to shovel this fucking guinea pig out. Oh, it's horrible. And there was this, there was this other time that um, oh, I was on my trip to uh, Amazon, and I'm in, I'm in this river, and this anaconda comes up. Wait, no. <laughs> 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 I watched yesterday. Uh, I always blame my like, bad uh, luck with animals on uh, my cynical nature. So I uh, root back to my days of being feeling like I'm disturbed with uh, such other classic uh, metal band. And uh, I think the animals can smell, smell the anguish, smell, smell my depression, and uh, smell the, uh, the horrible B.O. and griefs that comes off me. <laughs> uh, I mean, some, some, still act, some, some say I'm still pretty uh, you know, anguishy myself, but uh, I like think yeah, than I used to be, you know. There we are, I mean, enough about me. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure everyone's seen in the news lately that uh, uh, certainly someone's died. Uh, that'd be Osama Bin Laden. If uh, you haven't, uh, there he is. He's been bad. <laughs> so eloquently put the sun on. God bless him. <laughs> Uh, did you hear that? Uh, apparently, uh, they've been, been buried at sea. Uh, apparently, this is because they don't, they're buried in the ground. You know, like, listen, uh, they'll they come back and they'll be all like, oh, this is holy ground, you know, it's like, like the pilgrimage and stuff. I have another theory why I think the Sun of the Island has been buried at sea, and it's called zombies. <laughs> now, you see, I think it's bad enough. I think it's bad enough. So, that is. First off, Osama, sorry, I need to say Obama, you know, it's got, it's got like Fox News, but Obama Bin Laden's died a few hours after. A lot of Obama, so clearly. But, uh, you know, I think like, well, if the zombie Osama came back, uh, you know, well, before he wanted to change our minds, now uh, he's, he wants to eat them. So I think it's even, it's even more of a threat, really. I mean, what, what are you so like? I mean, I like the fact that uh, when, when Osama dies, apparently he's going to be met with 42 virgins. I'm not sure about you, but I was kind of thinking about changing my religion after I heard that. <laughs> it might also explain the high suicide rate in Sweden. If they've ever, they've ever had this little piece of knowledge, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm in for a treat. <laughs> but yeah, uh, despite this large amount of writing that is, that's actually all I have. I hope you've enjoyed my very, very embarrassing. <laughs> Ten minutes, is it? Eight. <laughs> Eight minutes. Um, I'm very embarrassed. I've shut myself. <laughs> uh, thank you, Emily.